an old fashioned girl when it comes to romance i believe in the whole chivalry and that whole sense of um, wooing and romancing and uh, you know having flowers sent and that whole gallantry and i just find all of that very 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 endearing charming sweet a lady of the feet Uh, I mean that's the world that I mentally and emotionally seem to belong to even though we're in like a century where that's clearly not the case. I love my fairy tale books. I I still haven't grown out of them in a sense. The whole prince charming. Yes, you have to kiss a lot of frogs and I have kissed a lot of frogs. Uh I am still kissing frogs because my prince charming has still not arrived. Um <laughs> so I think it takes a lot to actually woo me and sweep me off my feet. and men have actually put in loads of effort to be in my life i mean there was a guy that sent me 100 roses every single morning i would wake up the doorbell would ring and 100 roses would walk in and this happened for months and for months and for months um but the most important factor for me is that my kids have to like the man so if a man really wants to woo me as i said that a way to a man's heart is through his stomach a way to pooja's heart is through her kids So if you're really, really good to my kids, and my kids really adore you, and my kids like you, then they're welcome to be a part of my life. So no matter how many flowers they may put out, no matter how much they may do, and what gallantry and chivalry they may display, if my kids don't like them, they don't enter my life. The kids' part is initial. Like, if we like them initially, then all good. They're in her life. But once they're in her life, it doesn't matter what the kids think. That's not true, Alia. Because hang on, you hang on. You know what I'm talking no, no, about. No. Firstly, firstly, we're talking only about one person. But I'm just saying the one person was a good example. Okay, but my point is the one person I have. Okay, but hang on a second. My point is this: that a man woos you, a man sweeps you off your feet, your kids like him, he enters your life. You can't suddenly toss a person out. Yes, sometimes there are disagreements. There are disagreements in families. Even if I was married to your we father, we would still be having disagreements. I know. I'm just saying, if I was married to your father, there would still be disagreements. Disagreements are normal in families. So my point isn't that your feelings were not valid. My point is this: They that were. no, 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 no. Yeah, It means know. that disagreements can arise, and you try to somehow sort out those disagreements. Try to see it. if there's a workable solution. Ali, the person was never bad to you. You've got to admit, the I'm person is no. Tell me if no, the no, person no, no, was no, ever no. bad to you. The rule was if my kids don't like him, not if he was bad to my kids. My kids don't like him. Okay. Other so my said, okay. So what do you do as a parent? Okay, you in, you this man sweeps you off your feet. Your kids like him. He enters your life. He is good to your kids. They decide not to like him. Not that he's bad to them. He's really nice to them. But he's But terrible they, to her. Who okay. was supposed to like him? Uh, okay. <laughs> he's that's terrible my, to her. That's my he's problem. He's terrible to her. We have to hear them <laughs> fighting in the upstairs room all the time. But we're not allowed to mind. This is nice to us. I know, but that's my point. If he was even remotely mean to my children, he would be out that door and never come back. But if the person is, I'm well, if, if me and him are sorting out issues, but did it get sorted out? That's why he's not in my life now. Now, thank not, God. Not because we, not because we told her a hundred times. Because she finally, oh, it's temp. I don't even know if he's gonna come back. So I'm not no, gonna he's, say he's not coming I'm back. I'm not gonna say anything because for all you know, he'll be no, downstairs right not, now. He's not minutes. coming back. Okay, let's talk about you, madam. How would you like to be wooed? This new age kid by not doing anything. If someone sent me flowers, I'd just be like, "Dude, what's wrong with you? Why would you be averse to somebody sending you flowers? So it's weird. It's creepy." What do you mean? It's, it's so suffocating. Like, calm down. What like, if somebody sends you flowers? It's suffocating. Yeah. I just need someone that's not clingy. Not clingy. That doesn't do extra. That isn't romantic. So then, how do you know that this person is the person? If everyone's just like doing their own thing and no one is really interacting with you differently, I don't know. then how do you know I that don't... this person is the right person for me? So anyone will do. Not anyone will do. It's just anyone not clingy who doesn't do anything. I just need anything. someone that's. I don't know. I'd like to say that I'd date someone that's short, fat, bald. You know, I'm trying to say this in the least conceited way, but it's just coming out extremely conceited. But, but you would? No, you wouldn't. I would. So you're picky about how a person looks. Hmm. Yeah. So therefore, to be wooed, the person has to be really attractive to Alia. That's a quality. Yeah. Number two, the person has to be not clingy. Yes. Okay, so so basically, you sorted out what the person shouldn't be. The person should he shouldn't be short. Yeah. He shouldn't be bald. Yeah, he shouldn't be fat. He shouldn't shouldn't be clingy. Correct. Okay. Yeah. I want shouldn't. Um, the person shouldn't want to meet me all the time or talk to me all the time. 
It's like, I have a life outside you. Let me be. Yeah, like especially if I see the person in school every day. It's like, I see you enough. I don't want to see you outside school. So, okay. So, you've decided and that you have a call constantly because like I'd rather WhatsApp than call because my home has no network at all. Like you have to go outside on the dining table if you want network and I'm not gonna walk all the way outside my room, go to the dining table to talk to someone. A WhatsApp school relationship. <laughs> you know, it has like like there's no luster, there's no character, there's no drama, emotions, you know the the, the pomp and She's splendor forever living inside a chick flick. Comes it's she is not. forever living inside a chick flick. It's That's not, what you're doing. But are you a chick flicks are based on reality? Okay, chick flicks. <laughs> no, no. See, I'll tell you. Chick they show chick flicks to the point. They are. Says, no, no, no. I want to know what happens after the happily ever after. No, no chick flick ever shows what happened after the happily ever after. If there was a happily ever after, they'd have had a part two. It just ends at happily ever after. That's why there's no part two. No, they didn't get a part two because it's unrealistic and boring. Because happily ever after may be unrealistic and boring to some people, but basically I love the concept of a happily ever after. Where's your happily I, ever after? It's coming. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. That's what I said. You know, I'm in constant pursuit of you know the perfect space emotionally, mentally, physically. So Mama has so many things that she wants. Okay, basically she Romance. wants a lot. One second, she Romance. wants a lot. She Romance. Can I talk? Romance. Can I talk? So she wants a lot of things. Don't say romance, we say romance, I will get really annoyed right now. <laughs> so she wants a lot of things. And you no know, normal guy, especially in the beginning of a relationship, will give so much. So that so then this is what happens. You set your wall this high, there'll be people that are waiting to go over the wall. You set your wall this high, there'll be nice people that want to come and climb over your wall. You set your walls this high, only the creeps are going to bother. <laughs> She says that I set the bar so high that only the psychos are the ones that will try and cross over it, which may be true because on a certain level I have attracted people who are um, quite obsessive uh, about me, which is yeah. a nice thing in a way. Uh, no, and, and she, oh, she, she, I'm the complete opposite. She, I want someone that's away and she wants someone that's there. Always there. Yeah, like we the grew up as a reaction to our parents. So clearly she this WhatsApp yeah. meet you only in school, don't talk to me after school no, has clearly come from school, has don't. clearly yeah, WhatsApp mm -hmm. me. Yeah, so it's 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 that whole space has clearly come from the fact that she's seen me in these really enveloping relationships and clearly she's developed some sort of you know, I abhor that space. Um yeah, I don't want it in my life. Um is where she's coming from, which actually I think is really sad because I think love yeah, I'm and happy relationships. And telling you to be sad. When I'm happy with my love and romance, you're really skeptical about it. You no, know, I'm you're skeptical about the person, not what you want. I don't care. I'm happy if he's giving you a hundred roses or whatever. If I don't like the person, that's a pretty altogether. I don't have a problem with what he does for you. I have a problem with the person. Big difference.